In today's video, we are seeing if our solar scorcher can melt a mirror. Guys, if you haven't had a chance to check out our DIY build kits, we have several of them up for sale in our shop. They come with every piece you need to build the project yourself and are super easy to assemble. So go ahead and click the link in the description to check them out for yourself. Guys, we're back here with our solar scorcher. You've seen us do a lot of cool experiments with this before, and today we've got another fun one. This should be pretty interesting. We want to see if we can actually melt a reflective surface, namely a mirror. Here's the basic idea. Our solar scorcher gets up to over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit and it can melt a lot of stuff. But all of that heat comes from sunlight. Can we use that to melt a mirror or will it just bounce off? Obviously the solar scorcher, it's solar, it works with light. We take sunlight, we concentrate it down from a big area to a small area and we've melted a lot of cool stuff with this. We've melted several types of metal with this thing and it does it really easily, but it is light and light gets reflected by mirrors. As you reflect it on our camera guy. <laughs> exactly. That's the same sunlight that we're gonna be trying to use to heat things up. So is it possible to overcome the reflective nature of the mirror and put enough heat into it that it actually starts to melt or break? Or is it just gonna be so shiny that it can't heat up? It just bounces all the heat away. Because glass will melt or break and metal will absolutely melt in our solar scorcher. So a mirror is actually both a metal and a glass. It's a piece of glass that has had either aluminum or silver put onto the back of it and then covered in a protective waterproof coating. So most mirrors today are created using a vacuum metalizing process, which you were kind of explaining to me is when you actually almost turn the metal into a fine mist in a vacuum and it adheres to one side of the glass. So for our first test, do we want to try one of the larger mirrors or do we want to start out on a smaller scale? So with this mirror, I was trying to see, I mean, I'm not obviously using the solar scorcher, but just this little tiny mirror, I'm bouncing it to about 10 yards away into the dome. Nate's got one now. It's the sun and the moon, guys, they're fighting. So you come over here. Okay. And I want you to reflect sunlight so that your circle is as centered on here as you can get it. So you just hold that right there. Okay. And I want to see if I can get a focal point. Ooh, burn your hand. I'm just seeing if it's warm. Once I see the sun in this, that's how I know it's working. Ooh, that's unpleasantly warm. Light condenses into a rainbow. Ow. There's like a slight orange to whiter tint on here, but it's not really rainbowy. Is your camera picking it up, Mark? Yeah. Okay, here, I'll put my hand there so you can see it. Oh, there it is. It's hard to find. See the rainbow? Yes, it's much more rainbow looking from this side. Yeah, you see not... what I mean? It's like a little bit of orange to white. Yep. That's it. And we're not bouncing 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit of power here. We're just bouncing it off of a mirror. We're being very careful not to get close enough to burn ourselves. Now, now this much light, if it were through a magnifying glass, absolutely oh boy, would yeah. be enough to do all this. But through the reflection and the weird angle and the distortion of the lens, it was hot, but I'm not burnt. No, it doesn't even leave a red mark. Before we get to the mirrors, we have a secondary quick little experiment we're gonna try. Someone online asked if we could use the solar scorcher, the focal point of the solar scorcher to ignite an aerosol spray. So we did some tests and we found that this one ignites beautifully if you squirt it through a fire. We'll light a piece of wood on fire and demonstrate that a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna spray this through. You can hear it, even if you can't see it's it, hard you can to hear see. that. It's very bright and sunny out here, but yeah, you can hear that. So this is flammable. However, in our experiments, this one would not light on fire. We spray it right into a jet of flame, it didn't ignite. So this one, what we can use this for is finding the focal point because it shows up a little bit in the light from our solar scorcher. So if I spray this through, you can see how bright that is right there. You can see that sort of cone shape. It's coming down, focuses right about there, and then turns out into a cone. You can see our concentrated point. If we put wood right in that point, it lights on fire in like one second. It just immediate. So we have our focal point. We're gonna try spraying our flammable spray through that focal point. No auto ignition. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be able to transfer enough heat into the spray itself. It's kind of sad. I thought that was a really cool idea. I was interested to see if it did work, but we weren't able to get any flame results out of that. 
but we did discover that it makes a cool way to find the center. So we're glad yeah, we tried easy. this. You can be like, where is it? There it is, focal point. So now we can try putting our mirror right on that spot. And we can use the spray to see what the light is doing as it bounces off of the mirror. <laughs> That's like inches out of the focal point, but it's still so hot. Yeah. That lit in about one second, maybe a little less. We've got a nice little trail showing where it went. So we can put our mirror right here and we can move that into the path of the concentrated light. So I'm just gonna try and concentrate it right on the mirror. Wow. There's a little bit of dust you can see on the surface of the mirror. Oh, Whoa. oh. What? That destroyed it. Not a fire, but it did destroy it. Wait, take it out, I wanna see it. Man, I thought it was gonna bounce the light way more than that. Yeah, that's cool, check that out. I don't think that was dust, this is your hairspray. That's also very possible. We've got another mirror. Hopefully there's not as much dust on this. I just cleaned it off more. I haven't been spraying the hairspray in the air right near it. There we go. Focus right on the mirror. Is it on the mirror or is it on the edge? It looks like- It's higher, oh, Whoa. shattered. We got the first one pretty centered and we were lucky that the mirror didn't break, but it's such a gentle little pop. In like a second too. Yeah. That just took very little time. There's mm -hmm. so much heat that even though it's light based heat, it's overcoming the mirror and just shattering it or melting a hole through it. We need to see what happens if we put it unfocused on the mirror. Big piece of light. And see if we can have it focus off of the mirror. There we go. All right, let's try that. Ow, my sight. That was more like what I was expecting most of these to do. Pop. This one was doing the same thing. There was a circle and it started spreading and then it just gave up. It was too much for it. So pretty. Also, you can feel now that it's cooled down enough to touch, the surface is still smooth except for this tiny little bubble oh, in the yeah. middle. Yeah, there is a domed portion. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to get close enough, but right here, a little tiny dome and that's it. Okay, so our focal point is down here. We want the mirror to be up higher. So it's focusing approximately the size of the mirror. So the goal is to bounce it off of the mirror large and then have it turn into a cone beyond that. So now in theory, what I think is happening is this, the light is coming down and then bouncing up. So the new focal point should be above it. Oh yeah, this is working great. Look at this. Wow. So I bring the piece of wood here pointed at the mirror and as I bring it closer, you can watch that focus and focus and focus and then I get it to right there and boom, that's on fire. So that's being bounced off of the mirror to hit the bottom of the wood instead of the top of the wood. When you have a magnifying glass, you're used to tilting it towards the sun. That's normally how we're gonna get fires to start. But if you wanna cook something, you don't hold the pot upside down. We need something that bounces heat and reflects it from the bottom coming up. So we had something to kind of demonstrate how that's working. So we've got two things here. Your cooking surface, sir, and something that we wanna try this with, Jiffy Pop. I hear oil. Oh, yep, yep, and there's some steam coming up out of it. This might be one of my favorite things we've ever done. I'm saying it's not a quick cooking method. No, but it's so cool. Yes. There's smoke rising from underneath the mirror. I think it's heated up the glass to the point where it's cooking the wood a little bit. Yeah, I smell wood right now. I don't smell popcorn yet. But there is some steam coming off of the popcorn, I believe. Oh, and now the burning wood is getting uh, more excited. Woo! Oh dear. That was even not very focused, but the mirror still heated up enough it's still that glass. it exploded. It's still gonna break. Darn it. It's okay, tiny mirror, go, go, go. So close, I can smell the popcorn. Or the oil cooking, it smells like butter. Turn it, blow out the fire. Watch your hand, that's fire. Get it to sizzle again. Oh, it's all sizzling. Uh, just move a piece, move a piece. Yes! That was one! We've had a few little ones and at least one big pop. <laughs> Not sure this is the best way to cook popcorn.
All right, I think we're just gonna call that. Cool. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but <laughs> I think we can definitely say some popcorn has popped. I bet we have burned some popcorn and left the rest uncooked. I don't That's think we've not bad. any. It's not all of the popcorn, but the popcorn we got looks pretty good. <laughs> we made popcorn with the sun. There's a lot of butter for a normal amount of popcorn. We only have half the popcorn, but all of the butter. Also, this they is very didn't, concentrated. It is, and the kernels don't pop as fluffy as they normally do. These are very dense. I'm just curious how fast it will go through the back of a mirror, just really quick. The silver is applied or the aluminum, whichever method is being used. And then a protective coating is usually put over that so you can't just rub it right off the glass. That protective coating is not reflective. Kind of starts burning it and then shatters in like a second. This is among the worst ways to cook popcorn I've ever tried. It is, but we did it with mirrors. We I did. do have a question for you though. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Very wise question. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top to see our most recent video and we'll talk to you in the next one. See you then. Dang it! <laughs> all right, fine. It's just gonna be like that. That's how it's gonna be. That's the ending.